Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I am here to do a mini reading, a weekly mini love reading for the Taurus. Um, it's going to be from 5-11-2016 to 5-18-2016, um, and so it's just going to be a basic spread, um, current, pa I'm sorry, current, past, present, and future. Okay, and um, this reading may not resonate with all of you Tauruses. Um, if it does or if it doesn't, I highly recommend a personalized reading. Okay, um, you can get a lot out of these free general readings, but if you've got something going on or if you're just wondering something, it's always a good idea to get a personalized reading. A uh, link to my website is in the video description box. Also, make sure that you enter my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. You can win a bed of blood roses amulet and you can either win this for you or your girlfriend or maybe your future girlfriend okay all right so winner's gonna be announced in six weeks and i look forward to hearing your beautiful love stories all right so i am done and i'm just gonna lay out your cards all right so taurus um currently I see temperance over you. And so temperance is usually there to teach you um, patience. Okay, so if you're single this week and you're feeling impatient, you know, you're feeling as though you're not, you know, your life is not as complete as you would like it. Um, you know, temperance is always there to teach you patience, okay? Okay. Um, also, when I look a little bit deeper, I can see that for some of you that are involved with someone, this is some sort of relationship with someone that has a higher spiritual calling, some, someone like a guru, okay, uh, whenever temperance come up. You know, this is about um, art and balance and harmony, and um, sometimes this can indicate some sort of complicated relationship involving several people. So this is really, um, you know, temperance comes up because you, when she comes up, this is showing your inability to cope with some sort of relationship. Um, like I said, this is a general reading. Temperance is really a good card. So for some of you that, that are involved with people, you know, temperance is, is usually a very positive card to get in your reading. Um, I can definitely tell you that temperance is a major life event. So she's here to encourage um, self-control, moderation, self-confidence, and patience. Okay, so for her to come up in the present, um, you know, for you that are single, something that you have desired will come into fruition. Okay, you just got to be patient. Um, this should be a wealthy partnership. So this is really presently what you are desiring. Um, I think that temperance began to... Um, show up around Christmas of last year. And I think there was some, a major change in your attitude. In the past, you got the two of coins. So this is you juggling something. Um, this could either be you... Are your partner juggling career and the relationship um, but it, at any rate it's an achievement of balance because it's a two of pentacles so that's a good thing to come up in the past what's uh, crossing in the past is the ace of cups so this is really um, a positive card this is about the essence of emotions so you met someone possibly <coughs> That sparked a lot of emotion. Yeah, you you um, met someone that sparked some emotion in you, and it was sort of like a new beginning. You know, the Ace of Cups is a really good card to get in any love reading. So I can see some good things have happened for you Tauruses in the past. Um if you are currently involved with someone, I can definitely see that um, there was a really good connection with this person. Now in the future though, you did get the Eight of Wands. So this is a stagnation, okay? I'm seeing this come up. 
for those of you that are single, um, this again jives with the temperance. Um, for those of you that are single, this is movement right before you know. This is uh, what this is what happens right before you move forward. So you're at some sort of stagnation. So you know that relationship could have went stale. It could have lost its luster if you are single. And you know I'm seeing that that definitely happened in the past, but in the future. Um, the Eight of Wands really stands for metaphorical movement after a long-term stagnation. This can be seen as a partner um, possibly coming through the reading for you single Tauruses. Um, <clears throat> if you are involved with someone, there was some sort of struggle. Um, or some sort of um, stagnation. So I can see some sort of journey or travel, okay? I can see some sort of end to a delay for you, for some of you. Um, now, um, what's crossing in the future, though, is not so good. You've got the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a balance, but when you look at what the Four of Pentacles means, this means that someone, um, someone that wants to possess money, okay? Now, it does mean security. It does mean a reliable person. But in a love reading, it can mean that your partner puts too much emphasis on money and not you. It could mean that this person cares about money more than you, and it's really draining. It's not the best card to get because I mean even when you look at the deviant moon illustration you know there's an old miser and he's just holding on to these four coins and he's holding them all to himself see what I'm saying if you look at the deviant moon tarot uh, illustration the four of coins, this man is holding the money to himself. And you, if you look at the person next to him, this person is not doing very well. This person is not benefiting from the money. Um, that's the way that I see the four of pentacles. I see someone holding on to money, um, especially with the eight of wands coming up. Okay, now uh, another possibility for the four of pentacles um, is that there's some sort of gift or inheritance or possibly through an, a business acumen um there's a path towards some sort of success like we all know that with the four of coins but in the in the terms of a love reading because we're not doing a a business reading we're doing a love reading so this is about fear you may be holding on too tight to a situation or lover or someone that is attempting to do that to you the clinging is not healthy, okay? If this person was really for you, you wouldn't have to hold on too tight. You wouldn't have this fear, okay? You would be a lot more secure in the way that you feel, but you don't, okay? Um, this is a reminder that you can never really control another person. For some reason, um, I always see this card for the Taurus, you guys. Um, I can always see that there's this level of control that you want to have over your partner, and you can. Um, if you don't have, if, if, if your partner is, is not interested or not doing what you want them to do, then it's probably a good idea to move forward. Um, this card is about fear, anxiety and fear, and clinging to something that you think is bringing you security. It's a false security. So the Four of Pentacles is not a good it's not a good card to get in a love reading. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, I I do see this Four of Pentacles it, coming up in the future is reminding you to maintain your financial security, avoid access, and stick to your strengths of reliability and resourcefulness. You can achieve leadership, power, and wealth, but only through great effort and sacrifice. Okay. Um, also, it's about being smart and frugal, you know. Um, you might be smothering someone. This person feels like you're, you know, possibly just a little too 
um, insecure within yourself. This card is really about insecurity, you know, and, and I personally, I think that because the relationship went stagnant, um, obviously, the Eight of Wands in a relationship reading, you're feeling like you're ready to commit to someone that it, to, you're ready for a commitment that does not seem forthcoming. And judging by the Four of Pentacles, it's not. Okay, you're trying to push someone. Um, you can't force someone to do to meet your needs. They have to want to love you. You know, if you want a personalized reading, Taurus, check out my website. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.